welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a haul type video um, with some recent fashion staples, like some fashion summer essentials that I recently picked up and I thought to myself, I should probably do a haul video on this because these are all really kind of basics. I have some denim shorts, a pair of jeans, some great basic sandals, and then some white t-shirts. So I thought it'd be fun to show you the things that I picked up and also at the end of the video what I'll do is I'll talk about them all first show them to you and then I will go try them on I'm like pointing back because I have to like stand back from the camera and I will go ahead and try them all on so you can see at least what they look like on so the first thing is white t-shirts oh I'm sorry I'm like holding it up in front of the camera so you can't see me so the first thing is white t-shirts and I have just a few brands that I go to regularly that I like I've tried a few other brands in the past. I've tried like Joe Fresh and they make some okay t-shirts, but I really like Old Navy, Madewell, and J. Crew. I haven't tried any other like Alexander Wang or that sort of thing. I know or Rag and Bone makes some good um, t-shirts, but those are like really pricey. I mean, the Old Navy ones are like six or eight dollars typically. And then the Madewell ones are a little bit more expensive, but sometimes they run like a deal. If you like buy two, they're like 30 something dollars. So the first one is just the classic Old Navy um, white t-shirt. And this is the relaxed fit. Typically I used to get the real fitted tees, but I really like the relaxed fit. I think they look a little bit better, but they do run very large. So I got the extra small, and I believe I also got an extra, extra small because they run super, super um, big. And that was from Old Navy. And then the Madewell one I really love because I don't know if you can see the difference there's a little bit like there's some color variation in it. There's just a little bit of like, it's like a vintage tee almost. And I love they have this little pocket right in the front. And I just really adore the Madewell, the way they drape. They have a really good draping. So I believe I got the extra small and I believe an extra, extra small. I typically always buy like one of the size that I use and then one bigger or vice versa. One my size and they make one smaller because I sometimes, sometimes they change their fit or, you know, I can't always remember the size that I have. And then I sometimes look like they get really dingy, I throw them away and I'm like, which size did I get? So I always get kind of two, but like I said, I really enjoy the Madewell ones. The Old Navy one, I mean, you can see it's like just stark white. There's no kind of variation to it. And is there a pocket? No. So there's no pockets to this one, but the Madewell one has the pocket and it has like a little bit more of a vintage-y kind of worn through feel and look. And I bought two pairs of denim shorts, both by the same brand. I wanted something to replace my rag and bone boyfriend shorts. I still wear them a ton, but they are like hanging on by a thread because they're distressed and they have holes in the front. So the more I wash them, like the bigger the holes get. So I wanted something and those are running a little, those have definitely stretched out a little bit. So I wanted a pair of boyfriend shorts, but not to be as big as that. So I picked up these from Shopbop by AG Denim. And they're definitely not as distressed. As you can see, there's just a few distressed pieces or parts to it, but it definitely is only a little bit. And I sized down in these. I think I got a size 24 and I'm typically a size 26 in pants, but I got a size 24 in these and they do fit really, really well. They're a little high-waisted, but they're not super, I mean, you could probably, you know, size up if you want them to hang a little bit more and be a little more boyfriend style. I have the rag and bone ones, so those are boyfriend enough for me. And then I love a high-waisted denim short, and I love also like a distressed or a unfinished hem. So I purchased these from AG as well. They look very similar, but they're actually not. Um, these are the Sadie high-waisted, like, hands like my arm is like over my head how silly do I look and these are the Sadie high-waisted I will link everything below I know there's some have limited sizes but I'll definitely see if I can find different retailers that carry them and I'll make sure to link everything in the order which I talked about so you can reference it but I love the hem see how it's like just like the every time I wear them my dad's like you've got something hanging down I was like I I know that's how I like it and they're definitely going to get a little bit more um, stringy as I wash them a little bit more, but these are definitely a lot more high waisted. They don't give me, they give me kind of like a flat butt kind of, you know, like when you have like really high waisted pants, they can kind of give you like that flat butt look. 
But so I just wear like a longer, whenever I wear shirts, I just leave it untucked in the back because it can look a little like, well, that's not. But I love high-waisted pants because they fit me so much better. Um, I do have narrow, somewhat narrow hips, but I'm really, I have very um, more athletic and kind of muscular legs. So jeans will like be tight in my thighs and kind of butt area and always gape at my waist. So the high-waisted styles look a lot better on me because they do go in at the waist and they kind of fit me a little bit better. All right, then I bought a pair of jeans. These are by Blank NYC. So they're super distressed, as you can see. Um, online, they didn't look as acid washed, but in person, they're definitely a little bit more acid washed, but I love them. And I actually cut them. So they were a lot longer than this and I just cut them right off. So, but the, I, they're only, I think like $88. So they're definitely a lot more um, budget friendly than compared to like my current Elliot's or my Rag and Bone. And I just have, I just loved the really, really distressed look of them. So I just thought they were really fun and they're really comfortable. And like I said, I cut off the hem because the hem was like a good two inches too long for me. And then the final product or item that I purchased are these Madewell like strappy, they're called the boardwalk sandal and they're like a lace up sandal. And I don't always love that gladiator feature, but I adore these sandals and they're rubber sold. Hello. Don't have to get them rubber sold. I, if you didn't know, I rubber sold all of my shoes so that they last longer, but you don't have to with these. They're actually incredibly comfortable, much more comfortable than I anticipated. And they come in this classic brown, which I was, which I knew I would wear a ton of, and then also black and like a metallic shade. So what I'll do right now is I'll change into um, all of the products so you can see what they look like and see how the fit is. Okay. Okay. So here is the Madewell shirt. I actually t paired it with um, the denim shorts, one of the denim shorts, but I wanted to show you the Madewell T fit. Definitely. I always do this. I always leave my shirts untucked in the back. It's just my thing. I just find it very comfortable because I hate tucking things in. So it's definitely a really nice kind of drapey fit. And I really love the kind of distressed pattern of the shirt. Not too see-through though. I'm wearing like a, a nude bra, but it's definitely not too see-through. I love the pocket. It's just a really, this is one of the best white tees that I found out there. So I'm going to show you the shorts in just a second. Okay, so I had to stand up on a chair to show you guys the shorts, but these are the AG high-waisted shorts with the distressed hem. So you guys can see, um, I just love the, they're just so casual. As you can see, they do a little bit of the kind of flat butt, but I put my shirt down so you can't really see it too much, but they're so comfortable and they're just really, they're a great, you know, pair of shorts to kind of dress up. So you could wear it with, you know, a button down shirt and heels, or you could throw on some sandals, but I just love the color and I love that they're distressed, but definitely not too much. Okay. Here's the old Navy tee. It's actually a little bit bigger than the Madewell one. So this is the larger size. I have the extra, extra small. Um, but I like that it's just, you know, it doesn't have any type of detail. So there's no pockets, there's no distressing, and it just is a really nice drapey fit. I, if I had to pick between the two, I'd like the Madewell a little bit better, but for like $8, I mean, it's like, you know, it's a pretty, pretty good deal. And they do hold up pretty well. And like I said, there's just no detailing. And then I have the denim shorts on, so I'll show you those in just a second. Okay, here I am back on my chair. So I can show you the shorts and these are the A and G boyfriend shorts. So they're definitely a little bit baggier. And like I said, these are the 24. I like that they have the cuff to them. They're not as high waisted. So they don't go up as high as the last pair. They fall a little bit lower. And I like that they have a cuff. I mean, you can, they're actually not tacked here. So you can uncuff them if you want, but I like them cuffed. And I like, once again, I love the color and I love the distressed um, part of the um, shorts. So what I'm gonna do next is I will try on the jeans for you. Okay, here are the jeans. So I'm just gonna kind of like lift up my leg. It's a little bit harder to see completely, um, but they definitely are, you know, super distressed and 
they fit pretty well. And what I'll do is I'll, um, you can see the upper portion of them. And then what I'll do is I'll point the camera down so you could see the rest of the jeans and how they finish at the ankle. Okay, so here is the um, final picture with the denim. And you can see kind of how they um, go down to the ankle. And they're definitely, you know, skinny, but not too skinny. And the distress is really fun. Here are the sandals. So I went ahead and put them on so you can see what they look like. And you can tie them however. I mean, I kind of like let them did a really quick tie, um, but you would have definitely kind of tie them so the strings aren't hanging down. But I just love how casual and comfortable they are. And they go good with like maxi dresses, skirts, jeans, basically everything. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll link everything down below that I featured and talked about and where you can find everything. And leave me a comment if you have any questions and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.